It was a struggle, but I understand the struggle now because the struggle of drum and bass and, and de- whatever form of drum and bass or jungle it is, the foundation to where it's gone now, it's the struggle. Any yokes? What do you want to see more of in 2023? Uh, cheaper electricity bills for one. <laughs> <laughs> Any yokes? I call it, I call it programming. So I say programming like a piece of software, mate. Don't, you know what I mean? Because you look at me, I'm 6'5 and all that. So you got past that with me saying it's programming. So... When I left the studio doing Tarantula, just the same way I, I left um, Steve with the, with the track, he put me in the pockets of the rhythm. Hello and welcome to a very special episode of One More Thing where I am joined by two legends. I'm joined by Acas and I'm joined by Spider. How are you doing, guys? Yeah, all good, mate. All good. Excellent. Yeah. Blessings, cool. Blessings. Yeah. Cool. Good. We're going to have a little bit of a story of a, a lockdown silver lining, really. I'm all about these cool things that have come from a really <laughs> weird time in our lives. Like, you know, it was all, it was completely weird for two years. We couldn't go out raving. You guys couldn't go out working. And I think we're feeling the fruits of those frustrations that everyone was feeling when we couldn't go out and do our thing. And everyone was busy creating and writing. And Rise Again is the story of that, really, isn't it? I mean, that was, I mean, you can feel it in your lyrics by there. <laughs> you were waiting, you're counting down the days until you could go back out on stage and smash well, it. Well, you know, when the lockdown happened, it was like, um, it's the first of its kind, isn't it? So when was the last time you can think that you was ever stopped to go into a club and, and do it, doing what yeah. you do, you know what I mean? So unless you didn't get a booking, but still you wasn't, you know, you're staying in your quarters in your house all the time. So... I was really going, it was, it was a bad time for me, literally, because um, I was like, how do I get to work then? Because they say when you work, when you're working, even if you work in the studio by yourself, it doesn't mean that it's just you working, you know what I mean? It's like because of your association with other people. So there's that too. So that's part of writing. So I was like, man, how am I going to, you know what I mean? So I went through a, a moment and yeah. that tune, that, that, that idea of the lyrics was like, well, anytime I get the opportunity to come back and do my thing again, I'm going to try and balance everything, but I'm going to go at it so hard. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? You know, kind of like, I'm back, yeah? Well, we never went anywhere, but like, you know, let's, let's so, you know what I mean? Rise Definitely. again, you know what I mean? So that's, so the power's in the, in the hook. What you're hearing is, is real feeling. If It's the real feeling I want to, you know what I mean? For myself, it was just like, I'm expressing myself, you know what I mean? If you get it, you get it. But it's like, I was expressing myself, and yet, oh, we rise again, reeve again, back in other, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you can yes. hear it. So so I, I obviously I'm talking about the people that know what I'm talking about, they'll register. So we, yeah. as in that community there, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's not exclusive. Absolutely, you know I mean? man, absolutely. And I've actually got a previous interview that I've done with Serum a little while ago mm. on this yeah. channel. He actually mm. talks about one of your first gigs back. Any of Like one thing I like to do is, um, if it's a, if it's an MC who I've written tunes with, you can work those like little PAs in of their tracks and you mm. can surprise them with their own tunes. And, and like w- watching, just see seeing like the the look on like an MC's face. Say the first gig I did when I came back out of lockdown was with Spider in uh, Sheffield at Tuesday Club, and it was like you know I'd forgotten like the smell of the club. It's like it was like the day after lockdown lifted. I'd I'd been and got like my second jab like that morning, <laughs> <laughs> and um, got, was like I hope this doesn't KO me because I got this show, but um. Like when went down there and it's like when Organja Man got a like dropped Organja Man like um midway through the set and just where it was like getting a reload of his tune and it's getting a massive sing along and it's just like yeah. he like just I was like I was like I got a video of this and just like when he turns around to like look turns around and looks at it so just after getting the reload and everyone sung along and it's just like the face was just like fuck me I've missed this like oh my god. Yeah, um, it's it was like such a good feeling. Like that that little moment will will like just be definitely like live on in my mind. Any of I mean, can you remember that moment yourself? Oh, yeah, that day, that night there, I was like, I was just, I was just watching the crowd, and they were, the crowd, the, the audience was a student crowd, so not many people knew who I was in that sense because a newer crowd. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, they may know my voice, but they know who it was me. So I ain't saying my name. So I was just like looking. And I see this couple at the front and it was like, oh, who are you? You know what I mean? And like, this guy, literally, I'm not lying. This guy came from behind. This is why I knew it was a moment. I was chilling and introduced Serum big time. And this guy literally got between 
the, the, these couple and he leaned forward and he goes, Spider, Tarantula. And they went, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it just changed the whole dynamics. And then me and Siren just, I made it was just like, you know, pepped up energy wanting to be released. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, it was, wow. it was a moment, you know what I mean? It was like the whole night. I, I mean, the, 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 the Ganja man was a moment, but I'm like, yeah, I remember that. But like, he played some, uh, it was uh, anyway. You know, you know what I say. Amazing, yeah. amazing. So, Steve, man, how did you feel then when when Spider sent you over the the vocals? Well, yeah, because I think with a lot of stuff that I've heard from Spider, it's more sort of on the jungle tip, and it's more mm. jump up. Mm. Um, and then when I heard them vocals, it's like, yeah, you could, like you said, you can hear a bit of an emotion in the vocal. Um, so I, literally, I just got the raw vocal um, and then wrote some chords around the vocal um, with all the strings and stuff like that. So yeah, we tried to do something emotional. Um, and then when it drops, I was just thinking, do you know what? Everyone's going to expect it to be a liquidy sort of tune when it drops. So I thought I'd surprise them a little bit, do you know what I mean? And switch it up and make it into more of a jump up tune, do you know what I mean? With loads of energy and stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just just to do something a little bit different, do you know what I mean? So it's sort of like an emotional jump up tune, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Emotional jump up. I love that collection. <laughs> of words. You don't thing, hear you know that really? description often enough. Go on, that's brilliant. <laughs> so this is the second time. This isn't the first track that you guys have done together. So yeah, um, how do you complement each other? What is it about Steve's beats for you, Colin, that um, gets you going or gets you gets the creative juices flowing, if you like? Well, what it was is the first time I'd recorded on, like you said, a jungle track. And then he went back in. And... Um, it starts off, I, I, I don't want to go too far, but it starts with Fresh. When I worked with Fresh and we did Tarantula, what they, Fresh had the idea for this song. So what he did was he came and told me what he wanted me to do. And he kind of, I called it, I called it programming. So I said, program me like a piece of software, mate. Don't, you know what I mean? Because you look at me, I'm 6'5 and all that. So he got past that with me saying, it's program me. So when I left the studio doing Tarantula, just the same way I, I left um, Steve with the, with the track, he put me in the pockets of the rhythm and he made the rhythm around what I was saying. Like, you know what I mean? He, he, he listened to me. And this is when I know when a producer's worth his weight in gold. This is what I'm saying. This, this, this man here studied what I was doing. Because remember, I'm a, I'm a dancehall reggae artist. Yeah. And I come across MC and I'm like, yo, these guys are amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to be down. And it yeah. was a... It was a struggle, but I understand the struggle now because the struggle of drum and bass and, and de whatever form of drum and bass or jungle it is, the foundation to where it's gone now, it's a struggle. But you see what it is that it's not an infinite, like a, an endless struggle. It's to get you inside. Once you're inside because of that struggle, that means you're worth the meat and potatoes. When you put the gravy on top, you got a good meal there, lads. And then we go <laughs> do it again. You know what I mean? So, so, just, so what I'm saying is like, so when I went to Fresh, I understood that if I allow the, the producer to do his job by just vocaling. I could vocal on anything. If he's worth his weight in gold, he's going to take my vocals, he's going to deal with it how he wants it, mix it, edit it, and he's going to put it into that composition and make it work with the music and not just yeah. like my vocals on top. Yeah, and this, yeah. is what, this is what I feel, without even knowing him, you know what I mean? I could just hear what he did. I will listen to it. Like I was speaking to him earlier, I said to him, I listen to the layers. I, I really don't listen to Rise Again. I don't. I can't listen to it much because it's it sets me off. I want to go back in the studio or do something. You know what I mean? I want to write it. So so I try to. You know what I mean? So the vibes is that that's its vibe. That's its moment. So I want to move on and grow. You know what I mean? As a as a vocalist, I want to go on and experiment further. So yeah. That was that's that's amazing. Wow. That's awesome. And I get yeah, you're you're totally right. So when the best producer, when you've got the right kind of combination and you complement each other, yeah. they're using your voice like an instrument and like a texture, well, and not just slapping down a vocal for I hyper think, anything. They're like really that, yeah. weaving you into yeah. the production and building it around your voice and your energy. Yeah, I think that's where you get the you know, it's there's being in the studio and there's working alone, and then there's that communication where the, you don't actually see that person. It's more like, it's more or less like going to a gig and a, a DJ is playing. And that DJ could just go, hold on a minute, who's that on the mic? Oh, am I working with you tonight? All right, let's go. And he starts selecting a certain kind of selection, not because he want to give you something, but he want, he's here what you've got. And he's saying, let me work that with my vibe. 
Now you've got something going on. Now the, the, For me, when I hear that, I'm like, all right, I'm going to let him play, get used to the mixer, get used to everything. And then we start going and I'm like, okay. So it's a similar kind of process. So, yeah. it, you know, you don't have to be big producer. You could be new and up and coming, but it's just that, you, you know, you register because we're working apart. Like, you know what, let me listen to this a bit longer and let me see what's going on in here. And give it a minute to set, set yeah. in and, and then maybe go away, come back and listen to it again and go, you know what, let me try this. And now you start to experiment now. Now you're working in that, you know, you know, you know, the territory that you've never been before because we don't know each other. So we try to find this common ground where we meet and it's got some of that, you know, what I call the, the fairy dust. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so Steve. Oh, no, thank you. Well, uh, thank, you that. thank you for that. Thank you for that. Let me work with you anyway. You know what I mean? Because like, obviously you've worked with some big names and mm. I'm not like the biggest name producer out there. So I just appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah, we can make tunes together and that, man. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's brilliant. Are there more to come? Are you working on more stuff at the moment? Well, I've got something. I was talking yeah. to him about something earlier, like, but, you know, I said to him that, you know, I like, I want them to have their, for me, anyway, for me personally, I like when I work with a producer to to let it breathe, to let them have a go, to let that thing settle, the dust settle and make them enjoy that. You know, if they're, I don't know, whatever level they're at, you know what I mean? I'm like, I want them to enjoy that moment without me, getting in the way of another tune being, oh, they've got another one, and then that other one kind of goes down. I want them to enjoy that moment, you know, yeah. and I think it's good for them. So, you know, but, you know, I, I make Good for the like, music as well, I would say, because oh, unless 100%. it breathes, you're not just kind of firing it out yeah. and tuning them out in that way. You're giving it yeah. that space and that time to exist on its own, like, before... It's boring, then, the isn't thing. it? Do you know what I mean? If you're releasing yeah. regularly, like, with the same vocalist or whatever as well, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, unless you're willing to, I think if you're willing to experiment, like you did, you were, you were experimenting. Oh, 100%, 100%. That's the way I want to go as well. It's, I don't just want to make something that's generic and sounds like everything else if I'm going to go in, do you know what I mean? I want something to stand out and be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. like, 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 like with Rise Again as well, like if you listen to the second breakdown as well, it's a jump up tune and it goes all emotional with piano and stuff. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like different. It's just so out, like... <laughs> This God. is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Like, you know, drum and bass and jungles as beautiful as it is, you know what I'm saying? Some of yeah. these players, like, you need to get in the flowers, man. You have to get in the flowers early, man. Cause like, I don't know. For me, it's the foundation, you know what I'm saying? It's like that what they make as music is is yeah, it's another level. So, you know, when you're saying that you want to experiment and you're using the same vices or same skill set that you use to encourage people to go on the dance floor for MC to flow over. Cap, cap, capitalize on that and put it in a song that's got a different edge to it, but it still works on the dance floor and it still works if somebody's just rolling out in their car having a picnic, you know what I mean? That's, I think that's the one, that, that's yeah. it. Because we're not trying to, well, for me, I'm not trying to impress on anybody. I just enjoy my job. I love it. And I'm the same, exactly the same. It's like, I'm not trying to make what everybody else is making. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Sometimes, obviously, some things will sound on that mm. sort of vibe, but... Yeah. I just want to do stuff that stands out a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think Rise, Rise, Rise Again is kind of like, it's almost like a song, mm. but it's it's kind of like, you can listen to it on Spotify. Do you know what I mean? You can listen, like like you said, you can listen to it in the car, but also you can listen to it on the dance floor and it's got, mm. that, it's got enough energy and yeah. like sub bass, do you know what I mean? To sound good in a club as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's I mean that's that's the holy grail really in terms of as as creators really you want to hit that spot so people can enjoy it yeah. in multiple different contexts and areas mm. and it transcends the dance floor it hits the dance but it can yeah, yeah like you say it can work for me it's been a gym tune mm. this particular week but so, yeah, yeah you want to be able to hear people on all different levels don't you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. definitely hundred percent. Yeah, oh, think, right. um, so, yeah, I'm just happy that it turned out the way it did as well. Do you know? What yeah, I mean? man, you smashed it, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, you got the vibe right, you got it right. And you That's smashed it. the vocal, do you know what I mean? Respect, so yeah, complimenting man. each other mm. and it just worked yeah, out good. Wicked. So we're in 2023 now, a brand new year. What positive things do you want to see rise again throughout the year? What themes? What do you want to see more of in 2023? Uh, cheaper electricity bills for one. <laughs> <Isn't it? laughs> um, for me, I, I want to manage my time better. Like, I just feel like I don't manage my time as well as I could, and I could be putting more time into more positive things. Um, 
So, yeah, I, I don't know. There just needs to be more positive, positivity in, in 2023 for me, mate. Mm. It's just been dull, gloomy, strikes. Do you know what I mean? All these things and just, yeah. I don't know. It's just bad news. All, like, yeah. it's just been a lot of bad news. And I just want to hear some positive things for 2023, to be honest with you. Because yeah, I think we need it, man. Yeah. It's been yeah. miserable, yeah. isn't it? It's been bleak. Well, yeah. this is it. You see, this is what the lockdown was. It was just bleak and uh, yeah. it, it was that. But, like, there's been a lot of quotes in it that a lot of we live in our mind, isn't it? Like in our in our, in our mind, it's it's that's our cell, isn't it? It depends what we decide to focus on in our head, isn't it? So if you yeah. can't do something about it, how do you do it? So we're the great inventors of stories, you know what I mean? Like the mind is a great storyteller, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how I look at it. And then if you bring the drama to it and you bring everything that's in it, all the things that you just said, and bring that energy, but bring it out in a positive way, I'm telling you, you get some. That's what I did, and I'm like. I want more of that balance now. Like, so, yeah. you know, just try to, you know, we all spit our dummy out and get upset sometimes because we're human. It's just a human way of doing things. But I'm like, I'm trying to keep this balance and just keep going, going at it, smiling on my face, regardless of whatever's happening. And just trying, yeah, you know what I could do? Like, Rise Again is a sad song. But the way in which I put it is this, it's not going to be forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not going to be forever. When you said the tune, it says it. The statement is, it's not going to be like that forever. And this is what it is. So, so we got this. You know, it depends how you push your energy. For me, most negative things. You know, what I mean, I'm like, let's encourage that to be positive. Come on, let's let's go again. It's always, you know, what I mean. Yes. But the human condition would always try it. But we got to overpower that and go. You know what? Let's write about that. Let's go in and make that sadness nice and happy again. You know what I mean? So you got a real sad song, but with the energy of saying, "Yo, we're gonna be here one more time." Yeah. yeah. Go on, that's amazing. It's all about flipping, isn't it? Turning the dark yeah, into light man, and it. making yeah, the yeah. best out of a shit 100%. situation. 100%. That's the thing as well. Like anything <laughs> that is negative, you can always turn it into a positive anyway. Yeah, you know man. I mean? Yeah, so yeah. yeah it's just, definitely. It's just like you said, it's your mindset and the way you think. And to be honest yeah. with you, I'm quite bad at thinking of negative things. <laughs> I need to pull it out. <laughs> I even said the other day, he said to me, he literally said to me something the other day, and he was just like. All right, you walk out the door, there's a brick wall. What are you going to do? And I'm like, well, I'm over it. And he's like, exactly. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You get you know fed I mean? up. You get fed up enough, you're going to get the big sledgehammer and kick the wall. Well, I would me. too, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 I'm not just going to stay indoors, you know what I mean? So, well, that's what I'm saying. This is this is what I'm saying. I think it's um, you know, technology has come so far. You know, you could you can write bars on a bus, man. You could be chip walking down the road. I've been on a tram and said, oh, you know, in the car and say, you know what? I need to park this car up. Let's go for a walk. Phone out half with the rhythm. Then after the rhythm's finished, I've got the spot. Then I put it down. Send it to myself. Drop, you know, airdrop it to Logic, and then go in and then repattern it. You know what I mean? This is yeah, it's brilliant. a beautiful time to be alive, man, with technology. So why are they doing their you know, whatever they're trying to do. I'm like, well, okay then. Let me stay in here for a bit. We can make the place look pretty. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's, and that's what I've been saying to you. I said, you got skills. Mate, if I had them God-given skills that you, some of you guys have got and I could make beats, man, it'd be hard push to get this interview. Because <laughs> yeah. I'd be in. I'd be on every, I'd be just in. Like, literally. I'd just yeah. be going in because, you know, I'd, okay, a little break now and again. But yeah, when you miss it, like that and there's no communication man that's what i'm saying so like you know as we go into 2023 i think a lot of balance a lot of respect for for those who can't find a balance but you know you know just have to big up everybody and try and give our blessings to those less fortunate and just say yo let's try and lift them lift their spirits so when they come to the raid they go yo you know what last night was you know what i'm going gym ooh, i'm gonna go oh i'm gonna get that i'm just gonna go out now because oh you know what i mean yeah just to give them that like you know because the rave is to escape, you know what I mean? It's escapism for a lot of people, you know? Like you said, rising bills, strikes and all that. So we are the escape. And then the people that escape, or the whole thing of being an MC and being a vocalist for drum and bass, that's my escape. But if I ain't got no audience, who am I escaping to from what? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I need that platform to say, oh, not this time, Spider, you didn't get us something. Oh, you got us that time, Spider. You know what I mean? But I'm not, I'm not doing me in it. And that, that's a platform that was given to me, like from loads of supporters. It goes, it goes back, you know what I mean? And all those supporters, you know what I mean? I salute them for giving me the opportunity. And I'm like, yo, you know, we've got a, you know, we've been put on a mission in our, in our own self and our own right. So just keep the balance and just focus on trying to keep positive and, you know, just keep going. 
Not That's me. amazing. What a really positive and inspiring statement to end this interview on. Cool. Thank you so much for joining me, ACAS. Thank you so much for joining me, Spider. Thank and thank you, you to everybody who has watched this interview as well and supports One More Thing in any type of way. I love you. Um, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Speak to you yeah. again really soon. Cheers. Cheers. Later. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing.